One conundrum when becoming a gangland boss is it almost always requires some level of brutality, both for business and for gaining a fearsome reputation on the street. And once on, it can be hard to turn off. That's a thought in this underworld tale, the story of two sons of a reputed crime boss, whose public life of dating celebrities and social media flexing ran aground with outrageous incidents of unnecessary violence, both in their homeland and after sneaking across the border into America. The Mob Reporter here with news of recent turmoil in the life of a gangster clan, whose specialty, local tabloids declare, is breaking teeth with hammers. Let me tell you about it. Alexandru Pascu is a 24-year-old Romanian man better known at home as Marco Carlu, son of a reputed crime boss. The patriarch, Marcel Carlu, is the kind of guy whose name is often preceded in the Romanian press by words like feared and notorious, but in Romanian, of course, he looks a hard man. The youngest son, Marco, likes his Instagram. So does his older brother, Franco. You'll see a lot of their social media posts here to illustrate their lifestyle, bravado, family ties, and perhaps narcissism. The family seems tight. At least the father and sons do. The boys even have matching hand tattoos. The clan's antics and escapades routinely make headlines at home in Bucharest, Romania's capital and largest city. The family draws tabloid stories on who the sons are dating, and who they're no longer dating, who they're fighting with, and who they're no longer fighting with. Stories of feuds, fights, stabbing, scandals, and an alarming number of references to breaking teeth. A flurry of headlines recently tittered that all three Carlu men were wanted fugitives, each on a different accusation. Marco, the youngest, was wanted in Romania for a nightclub brawl in Bucharest, in a washroom at 2.30 in the morning, no less. Marco gets into a lot of trouble in the early morning hours. He really should get to bed earlier. Court heard that two men were at the nightclub for a birthday party and were jokingly insulting each other in the washroom. Marco thought they were talking to him and smashed one in the face, who dropped like a stone. The other guy tried to intervene but was slugged in the face. He dropped unconscious to the ground beside his friend. He was hospitalized for 18 days afterwards. Somebody should get this guy into a boxing ring. Marco was sentenced to 15 months in prison, but when police came to his home to take him there, he had already skipped town, and the country in fact. We'll come back to how Marco's life on the run in the United States went in a moment. His brother Franco, meanwhile, featured in many a tabloid story for his relationship with singer Otilia Bilionara a Romanian celebrity appreciated for her steamy music videos and photos, as well as for her music. After they split, Franco's headlines took a darker turn. He was accused of attempted murder. Franco and his friend were wanted for a bloody stabbing of an underworld rival outside the Chinese embassy in Bucharest in 2018. It was a bad spot for confrontation. It's one patch of pavement surely to be under video surveillance. The victim was a rival who had squabbled with the Kalu clan. Franco sought shelter across the Atlantic in Nicaragua. He was eventually extradited back to Romania and last year sentenced to eight and a half years for the attack. As a side note, the victim of that stabbing, Razvan Lukan, was famously notorious for a high flare swindle attempt. He and two other Romanian men arrived in Italy, posing as Russian billionaires and their bodyguard. They then tried to buy Italian football club AS Roma. They failed, of course, and were arrested in Italy. But what a story to have. Both Kalu brothers were publicly named as suspects in a high-profile 2016 incident involving the son of a famous footballer in Romania. The footballer's son refused to pay back money he borrowed from a third party. When the request for repayment became demands, the guy who loaned him the money was invited to an apartment to collect repayment. But when he arrived, Franco and Marco were there, not with money, but with a hammer, the man told police. He was beaten for hours. The father, Marcel, by contrast, was wanted in a corruption probe. That's a charge more befitting a boss. Now back to young Marco. After fleeing Romania, he traveled to Mexico and headed north, crossing the border into the United States. 
He didn't get far before being caught in the Texas borderlands by U.S. officials in October 2021, near Roma of all places. He claimed asylum and was released into the United States pending determination of his immigration status. Somewhere along the way, Marco got married to a woman almost 10 years his senior. It was a volatile relationship to say the least. About a year into their marriage, Marco was arrested. It was around 4 in the morning in Las Vegas, a city famous for its casinos and nightlife. According to police records obtained by the mob reporter, Marco and his wife shared a home there with others. Here is his mugshot taken that night. It perfectly highlights his facial tattoo. Shortly after midnight the day before, on May 15, 2022, Marco confronted one of the other residents. She later told police Marco demanded to know where his wife was. He pointed a handgun at a nearby bedroom and fired around through the door. The next night, the same woman heard Marco and his wife arguing downstairs. She called police. When cops arrived, the spouse told officers she and Marco had argued and fought on and off pretty much all day and all night, starting about 3 a.m. When, she said, Marco came home intoxicated. They fought over where he had been and text messages on his phone. Marco, according to the police report, got physical. They fought again around midday and again at night, until police intervened. Police found a 9mm shell casing on the floor and a bullet hole in the bedroom door and a tan Glock 19 Gen 5 with a 33-round magazine. Marco was arrested and charged with domestic battery and discharging a firearm that could have hurt someone. The police report lists him under both his names. Age 24, height 6 foot 4, weight 250 pounds. His cell phone had a Los Angeles area code. If he was trying to lie low in the United States, this was a huge mistake. By the time of his hearing on June 2nd, he struck a plea deal. He admitted guilt to domestic battery, and his gun charge was dismissed. Under normal circumstances, he'd probably have been released, but he remained in custody because of his immigration status. Being a non-citizen convicted of a violent crime with an arrest warrant from Romania erased all doubt of his status in the U.S. Agents with U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement visited the Clark County Detention Center in Las Vegas on August 26 and placed him under an immigration detainer. A judge granted Marco Kalu a voluntary departure from the United States back to Bucharest on September 21st. This is him on his way out. Once back home, Romanian officials apparently took him into custody. Please tap the thanks button, you should find it somewhere around this video, to help me out or join me on Patreon for perks and bonus content. And please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. It all helps keep me going. Thanks for watching.